and welcome to a very short wrap up. In January, I did not do exceptionally words. I ended up reading only three books. Granted, they were all physical, which is great, and I didn't read a bunch of manga. So, well I did, but they're not on Goodreads, so I'm not counting them, if that makes sense. I only read three books, which is great. I got three books out of the way from my physical shelf, which I love. So let's get straight into this very fast wrap up. So the first book that I read this year was Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating by Adiba Jagardar. This follows two girls, Honey and Issue. Honey is a popular girl that comes out to her friends as bisexual, but they don't believe her. And Issue is kind of not a social outcast, but she doesn't like anyone. She is a very studious girl. She doesn't really have friends or hang out with anyone at school. She just studies all the time. So Honey, when she is confronted by her friends saying that they don't believe that she's bi, she says that she actually has a girlfriend and that it is Issue. So basically Honey and Issue fake date, hence the title. Honey to show her friends that she's bi, and Issue to gain popularity to become the head girl, I think it was. I don't remember. I think it's head girl. And so that's the plot of the book. I went into this with low expectations because I didn't really enjoy Henna Wars as much as everyone else, but I really enjoyed this. I gave it a four star. It was so fun, so cute. Their romance is great. Their character developments are fun. I had so much fun reading this. It was a great time. The only issue that I had with it issue. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, it's not on purpose. The only issue that I had was the ending. I felt like it needed a bit more information or I don't know. It felt a bit open-ended, I guess. I don't know. The next book that I read was The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I talked about this book in my TBR and I did not really know what this was about as per usual. But this follows Linus and he's a caseworker that works for this big company called Daikomi or Daikomi, I don't even know. You spell it like that. And this business is basically takes care and goes to these orphanages that have magical children in them. So there are a bunch of magical beings in this world and for some reason I don't really know the backstory of it but these children and adults are regulated? That's not the... I don't know. They have like eyes on them all the time so that's why the children are in a separate orphanage. Orphanage? I don't know. Um, and so Linus, our main character, is sent to this island, this house in an island that has six magical children living there and he is tasked with deciding whether the orphanage should remain open or not because these six children are special they're stranger or more powerful than other magical kids i loved this and i was not expecting it it was a bit of a plot twist in my life until i got to halfway I was like, nah, this is kind of boring, not halfway. Until I got maybe a third in, I was bored. I did not like Linus. Um, I was just reading it because the writing style is great. I just, I was like, ah, it's readable. I will continue, it's probably gonna be a three. Um, and by the end of it, I gave it a 4.5. This took me on a roller coaster. It went full 180. I was not liking it. Started liking it, loved it. Uh, Linus's character development was so good. I hated him, and then I loved him by the end of it. The kids are the best part of this whole book. My favorite kid is Lucy, for obvious reasons. Um, this book is so funny, and I was not expecting that. I have so many quotes that I love. I'll leave some on the screen because I don't want to say some of the words right now. <laughs> I laughed out loud with some of these. I had so much fun. The kids are great, the plot is great, although I did predict one plot twist, which I'm not going to say which one because spoiling, but that was my only issue. The only thing that was wrong with the book was that I predicted a plot twist. Was it obvious? A little bit, but 
I always say that. <laughs> but I have found a new, not favorite, because it wasn't a five, but it's so good. I'm really excited to read the sequel, which I don't remember the title of, but I'll leave it on the screen. I'm really excited. It follows this book. Yeah. I'm excited to read that. And the last book that I read in January was There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. And I read this because of Buzzword, because it was they, no, there, there, and there. And this book follows a girl called Makani. I hope I'm saying that right. And she has recently moved to this random town in Nebraska, I think. And suddenly murders, gruesome murders start happening two kids that go to her school and her year. So basically we follow Makani and a serial killer is loose where she lives. I had high hopes, not really. I had some hopes. <laughs> um, I've read from Stephanie Perkins before, but obviously not in this genre. I read the Anna and the French Kiss series a gajillion years ago. And although this has like a pretty low average rating on Goodreads. I usually ignore that, but this time this it was correct. Um, at first, for the first half, I was really enjoying this. I was loving it. I had gasped at some things. I was loving the serial killer and I had a lot of thoughts and ideas and what could be the plot twist. And then the plot twist came. Basically, there are two plot twists in this in this book. One is about Makani's past, which we, she always alludes to something happening in her past as to why she moved to Nebraska. And the second plot twist is obviously who the killer is. Makani's plot twist, so boring. I needed something else, but that was so boring. Um, the killer, fine, I'm okay with it, but the reasoning, the motive, why? I'm, I'm so bored. I was so disappointed. I was so sad. Why? If you've never read this, that was probably very confusing, but those are my thoughts and feelings. So yeah, I don't know why the plot twist had to ruin it, but it did. And that's just what happened. So these were the only books that I read in January. I did have a great time. I read two really good books. This one had to ruin it, but I'm not mad at myself for not reading more. Yes, I'm mad at myself that I didn't read the one book that I randomly picked, but I am reading it. Um, I will get to it. I'm getting to the books, so it's okay. I'm not mad at myself. Three books is honestly great to me. But that is everything for today, and I'll see you in my next word video. Bye!